Watch me. I'ma get it how I wanna get it, you don't get it. I can do anything, I don't got a limit. I'ma make my mind up, I'm committed. It might take some time, might take a minute. I won't give up, I don't give a shit. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott, welcome to the 1% Podcast. This video is for all of my automotive people in the world. This is for all of you. Guys, you know this. I mean, Andy Elliott, the Elliott Group, Elliott Army has become a household name in the automotive industry in every dealership all around the world, okay? Creating fire-breathing dragons, taking companies to new levels, turning what was once annual income into your monthly income, breaking open the game and changing it and, and, and building winners. And I'm here today with a good friend of mine. This, this guy, his name is Jason. He owns a company called Worldwide BDC. By the way, I know you've probably seen him with me uh, out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. That's where we are right now. I have 10,000 training. I have 10,000 companies that are on my platform right now in the automotive industry. And Jason trains a lot of my stores. And I want to tell you guys something right now. Internet department, BDC, we're in the era of the worst salesperson in the history of time. And I'm not saying this disrespectful. I'm not, like, don't get butt hurt on this, Okay. I do cold calls to companies all the time. I do cold calls. You guys see me call dealerships, right? And some of the things that comes out of people's mouths, the fact that it seems like they don't care, that they're sitting down and it's like they're just, it, it, they're not standing up, flags are flying, people are buying, and they're excited about doing their job anymore. It just seems like they're dead bobs, right? It seems like they don't know their inventory anymore. It, it sounds like, I don't know, maybe they didn't get trained or maybe that you did train them and they don't care. I really don't know. But I know every time I introduce Jason into a, um, an automotive store, he blows up their showroom traffic. And literally, I'm, I'm putting this out there because I won't ever lie to you guys, okay? I will show you a return, and I want nothing from you. It's free, F-R-E-E. -E. Come on. Jason will do a three-day, three, three day, okay, for free, okay, internet BDC, not training. They'll take the calls. And they will bring more traffic to your show and floor than you've ever seen. And we don't want anything from you, okay? And I'm going to hand this over to Jason. Jason's going to tell you some of the things that they do. And it's, it's incredible. It's a life changer. By the way, you, you'll thank me later, okay? But most importantly, there's going to be a link down in the description box, okay? You just go down there. You click the link. It'll literally ask for your name, phone number, email, and say, hey, we're going to reach out to you. And then Jason will reach out to you. As Tim will reach out, they'll get it set up. Okay, so I love you guys. I want to I want to introduce you to Jason. Jason, thank you, brother. Thanks for By having me. By the way, me. Jason Miller, an amazing man, great dad, loves his wife. His wife's here with him. She's right over here. She's amazing, super cool dude, well spoken, super hungry, appreciate it. psycho competitor, um, super ethical, just everything that you want. This is the guy you want to hire, like to work for you. This is the guy, but this guy, he built the business, and I've seen his team. He's got 50 people on his team, or maybe it's a little bigger now, Hundreds. and they're incredible. Yeah, but they're incredible. They're amazing. I've trained every one of them. Their tonality, their language, the way they speak, the way they talk. They're unreal. Their customer service is through the roof. Their, 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 their manners, they're so polite. It's like every phone call they take, they take it like it's the last phone call they're ever going to take. That's the standard Jason lives by. So, um, anyways, why don't you tell us a little bit about, like, um, number one, what you do, and then a little bit about, like, on these, like, free three-day trials when somebody right. comes in, kind of what you do, and then what you're doing for your, your companies that are with you. Because once a dealership gets bit by the bug and sees what they do, they're making a ton of money, and you become a part of their lifeline now. Absolutely. First and foremost, Andy, thanks for the opportunity to jump on the uh, podcast with you. But one of the things that we do is we drive so much traffic because we're just so much better on the phones. Mm -hmm. And it's not just because we have great tonality, Andy, not because we have great scripting. It's because we talk with the conviction that's going to drive the traffic to, the, to, to your stores. It's huge. So here's the deal. Worldwide BDC is a business development center that builds traffic to the stores. See, what typical ha typically happens with dealerships and what happens in stores is that you'll get an internet BDC department. They'll make a couple phone calls for you. They'll send a couple texts. They'll send a couple emails. That's garbage. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get anywhere with that. What we're going to do is ramp it up. And what we do is ramp it up in a very special way. We're calling the customers three times per day daily. Call, text, email for the first six days. Andy, imagine if someone called your cell phone three times per day for six days. Are you going to pick up? Absolutely. And I want to say something. A lot of people say, well, aren't you bugging them? Listen to me. If somebody no. reaches out and requests information, I want, I want to say something. If somebody reaches out and requests information and you call them back and they don't pick up the phone, 
that person still wants to do what they wanted to do, and that's why they reached out to you, but they're busy. Correct. So you got to stay in front of them, and you got to meet them where they are. 100%. Like, we're in a world right now that people think they're bothering people, so they don't call them. And then dealerships are suffering, and they're buying across the street somewhere else. Correct. And your guys, you know what they know? If they don't make the call, they know there's going to be no sales. Correct. So they have to make the call. Your team is disciplined. Correct. Okay? Your team don't get caught up in, like, in in-house dealership drama. You no. know what I'm saying? They, they don't see anything except results. They Correct. eat, sleep, and breathe results. And that's all that matters is results. And that's why, you're, that's why your company is killing it, man. Yeah, I mean, the, the simplicity is this. We're not in the store, so there's no drama, right? right. We're going to make all the phone calls you need. We're going to send all the texts you need. We're going to communicate with your store. And number, like another big thing about it is when you're in a BDC, one of the biggest pain points is, is that, number one, there's no culture inside the store. Thanks. Andy, you've been there. You know how this goes. You go back into an internet BDC department. They got the hoodies on. They got sweaters on. No one wants to be back there. It's the dead zone. Mm -hmm. In our call center, you have to stand up. There is no sitting desks. Mm. There's standing desks. I know my old school car guys that are watching this right now. I know that just got your attention. I know you remember the day that we were fire breathing dragons. And if that phone rang, and if it if there was a phone pop that came into a car dealership, people used to fist fight. Come on. For that. They used to fist fight. And I'm listen, I'm just telling the truth. Okay? And now people are like, You gonna get that one? You got it? Come on, man. Can you take that one? I'm gonna take a cigarette break. Come on. It's like it's like like what like what happened? Okay? And so that's why Jason and his team kills it. Because they have that old school work ethic. They have that old school care. Dude, honestly, at the end of the day, he said something at the beginning of this. He goes, dude, we just are really good on the phone. Period. Like, like I love that, man. Like, you work hard for advertising. You work hard to get people to believe in you. You work hard to build the brand. But then you got somebody picking up the phone that ain't that great. Yeah. You know what I know? Is that if you got an internet team and they say they're the best, then you already seen what they're doing, right? Right? You ever thought maybe they could be better? Test them out for three days. Oh, absolutely. What, what if he tripled the showroom traffic? Listen, whether you decide to use them or not doesn't matter. But if he triples the showroom traffic, basically he's already showed you that what was there was three times more. And he'll show you for free. But if he can do it and your team can't do it, he's happy to take it over. And that's it. Or be a part of it. Um, but, but you also, I see you doing a lot of things with like the service drive oh. and stuff like that. And I know a lot of BDC and internet people are very entitled. And I want to say this, a lot of you guys have really good cultures. You do have really good cultures, but when people are making phone calls all day long, it's just like, for some reason, they just tend to get burned out. Right. right? It's like, it's like they get tired. They don't want to make all their calls. They complain. Um, Jason don't let no one complain. They don't want to complain. He breeds winners. Yeah. 100%. And, and, and so like at the end of the day, like. Getting results is all that matters, and I'm telling you, the lifeline of every dealership, the lifeline, it used to be the gate. Ooh. Okay, back in the day, 20 years ago, we'd live and die by that gate. Now it's the phones, man. Okay, and if you're not calling people and you're not taking these calls right, one bad phone call, you know how it is. That's a $10,000 gross. It's a $5,000 yep. gross. Yep. Let me ask you a question. How many phone calls are bad a day? Five? Ten? All right, what's your average gross per copy? Do the math. You might be flushing 50000 a day down the toilet. Here's the crazy part, Andy. you got to look at it from this perspective. How many dealers really have a system that tracks phone calls anyways? How would you even know if the phone call was bad? Most stores don't even have, not in a bad way, not at all, but maybe the technology isn't there. So they're not listening to phone calls. No or if they have the it, phone. they're too busy to even take the time to get the call. Because it's not a, because a department is the one that's in the back, the one that's in the hoodie. I'll just get the sales guy that didn't sell a lot. I'll just throw him in the back. That has to be done with. That's over with. When Worldwide BDC comes onto your store for three days on a trial, we'll absolutely put some of the best agents, some of the best scripting, some of the best lines your team has ever heard, and that's what's going to really drive the traffic to and, the and stores. And you communicate with the owners, the general managers, and the managers. Daily. Right? Yeah. That's and, a daily basis. Yeah, this thing. is a big deal to me because all of my all of my companies that do business with him, every one of them, first thing they tell me is, number one, hey, appreciate you. I love Jason. I mean, I love his business. I love what he does. I love the results. We're making way more money, but I love him. Because if we ever want to correct anything or if we want him to use certain language or do anything, like we just tell him and like it's done. We don't, we don't have to tell him twice. 
And I think that's really important, okay? Like, just imagine this, man. Like, like Jason works for you now. It, it, that's the great way to say it. It's, it's a dynamic play. Yeah. So we're not a static company. So we're not just going to make a bunch of phone calls for you. Every area is different. The clientele in Arizona is going to be different from the clientele in Florida. Mm-hmm. There's actually a different tonality in Florida. There's a lot of Spanish. New York is different. So we have different agents and different uh, groups of people that call specific stores. Mm -hmm. So now we're just going to unleash you on 150 agents. No, 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 no. We're going to find the right people for the right scenarios Mm -hmm. to call your customers. Yeah, and you understand if they're a special finance store. You understand if they're a good credit store. Treating a Lexus store differently than obviously, you know. um, 100%. I'm just giving an example. Yeah, so uh, Highline stores are really important, right? You mm -hmm. can't hammer the phone calls three times a day. We know that. We understand that. However, we still want to get in front of that customer, and there's a cadence for that. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's not three times a day. So we call it twice a day, and we go heavy on a text message. Mm -hmm. Really engaging text messages, getting the customers excited. But the real reality is is getting the customers to want to communicate back. Mm -hmm. Just because a lead comes in, you can call it as many times as you want. How wet was that voicemail you left? Oof. Was it good enough? Is the customer excited to call you back? Well, we've called stores. No, you've called stores. And we've called stores where you call in. Hey, it's Andy. Call me. Hey, I'm just trying to give you a, a hey, this is uh, Jason just giving you a call from the store. Give me a call back. I, I see it. your lead came in. Like, we need to all wake it up. It's yeah, you soft. Ca- you called me a lead? It's soft. Yeah. It's soft. Listen, hope you're having the best day of your life. This is Jason down here. We saw we missed your call. I want to let you know you're super important to us. If you would, I'm calling you from the 702 number. Call me or text me back at this number. If not, I know you're extremely busy. I'll try to reach out to you in the next hour or two. Come Have on. a blessed day. Greatly appreciate you. You're Come important on. to us. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was someone that cared. You know what I love? You always know what you have with the team by the leader. Oh. And that's why I got Jason here right now, because I wanted you guys to meet the leader. That's super important. Look, this guy's not going to ruin his name. He's not going to ruin his standard. He's not going to ruin his company. He's not going to do that. Not for one person, not for one deal, not for one, it's not for one customer, okay? This guy loves to win. He hates losing more than he loves winning, okay? He hates losing. And when he takes on a store, he takes it personal. And I know that a lot of you right now, if you're running a store, I know the reason why you got in the position you got is because you take your job personal. Right. Okay. Don't you wish your internet and BDC department, don't you wish that they took their job personal? Okay. And that's the reason why you're going to get so excited when you work with him. You're going to love it. Yeah. I think one of the big things that separates us from other BDCs, number one, you did say that we were going to talk about the service. So I'm going to touch yeah. on that. But before we even jump into that, what is your BDC like for GMs out there, for managers out there, for people that are out there that have a BDC department? If you walked in the room, what are they doing? Are they walking around with wireless headsets, right? Are they standing up? Do they have chance? Is their environment good? Like, what are we doing here? So what we've done at Worldwide BDC was if we really figured out that it's about the culture that creates the success. Mm-hmm. And we believe that the right leadership in place will create that success. That's right. So I think what we've created is not only just a good company, which I believe that's what it is, Mm -hmm. but I believe that everything falls and rises on leadership and culture. And I believe those are the two things that make a difference. Because if you got to look at it, if you're BDC, uh, you walk in and you're sitting down. Well, you said if the culture is we stand up to make calls, the standard is we stand up to make calls. Okay. I mean, I remember when I was younger, dude, my managers, it wasn't a choice. You took a phone pop, you stood up. 100%. 100%. Like, people can tell if you're sitting down, you know, picking your nose, and they can tell if you're standing up kicking ass. Okay? They can tell if you care, they can tell if you don't. They can tell if you're waiting for a lay down and hope for them to come in, or they can tell when you're trying to earn someone's business. Okay? Like, whatever happened to this? And so, like, what I want you to do is I want you, I want you as a leader to get what you deserve. I want you to, to remember what it's like to have a kick-ass team. It's what I want. And guess what? Even if you don't use him and you take the free three-day trial, at least you'll see what was possible. Mm. But I'm going to tell you this. Once you see his team, you're going to be like, look, I'm going to figure this out because I need this and my team. Okay? Like, listen, the worst thing you could do is – just feed your team everything you have no matter what, and then they just get it, and then you get to hope that your results hit. No, you know what? These guys right here, man, they come to win, okay? And they come to win for you. And they come to win to put you number one and put you in the right ranks, okay? And I know every day, I know how much money, I know how much money you guys can make, I know how much time you spend away from your family, 
Okay. I, I know how much we sacrifice in the automotive industry. I know. Absolutely. That's why when we see opportunities like this, we don't play. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay, and I know you love your team and you're not being disrespectful to them to bring a good player on the field. Absolutely. Okay, to show them, to show them another level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think what is great is because of the communication that we have with the dealers, and as you know, as you said, we are high level in communication. So you don't just hire a BDC that's not going to communicate with you. We just set appointments. No, your managers are put in chats. Your GMs are put in chats. There's dealership follow-ups. We personally have managers that manage over the chats to make sure that your managers – call back the customers mm -hmm. that need to be followed up with. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, Andy, we all know, if someone's gonna ask you the best price 15 times and live three hours away, the dealership has to pick that ball up. The desk manager's gotta get on the phone and give them the best pricing. Yes, and I think the desk manager, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think he, he, he minds getting on the phone. Not at all. But they gotta relay it and let him know, hey, this is a hot deal. Correct. Hot deal. Hot deal. Guy's three hours away. Hot deal. Ready to go. Three o'clock. He can be here by six o'clock. Hot deal. Somebody's got to ring the bell and the alarm's got to go off. Come on. Not, oh, this guy wants a deal. This guy's being an asshole. He wants a prize. You know what? I told him he should just come in. It's our best deal. And if he doesn't want it, then screw it. Hey, that stuff's going on. Yep. It's going on, dude. Whatever you, you guys watch me do cold calls. It's going on. 100%. Okay. I, dude, listen, I can make 20 calls and I'm lucky to get one half ass. One, all of them suck. So imagine. And they say they've been, I say, how long have you been selling for? Oh, 23 years. 23 years. Wow. You can't take a damn phone call. You know what I know? I know you're waiting on a lay down. I know you're lazy and I know you're trying to go back to that bullshit cup of coffee you were, you were just drinking and you want to go back to freaking talking about football. I know, man. I know. I remember there was a day we, we, we took it personal when somebody didn't come in and buy. Mm. Okay, and I, and I still take it personal, and so do you. And I know that if you're watching this, I know you take it personal, too. Absolutely. If you're a winner. 100%. So let's talk about that service piece that mm -hmm. we were talking about. So with the service piece, well, let's be honest. How many customers actually come in through the back door, not the front door? I would, a lot of them. I would say most of your business is actually coming through the back mm -hmm. door, which is your service department. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is created a bulletproof process of converting a service customer from defense sitting down, waiting for their car, waiting for their car to get to be ready. And what we've done is created a system where we get that customer from this defensive standpoint into an offensive position, walking over to a salesman asking for a car opportunity. We know this. It's 100% fact. It, and this is not to peg anyone or to be mean, but let's just be honest. The service department is the department from service to sales is the least uh, viewed department and probably needs the most help. Dude, yeah, it, well, every no, time. Yeah. Well, if you tell your sales team to go work the service drive, you, it, you, first of all, we don't even need to say anything else. Yeah, okay? that's it right there. Okay. You, you can barely get them to go chase a customer down anymore on the lot. Okay. And that's somebody who drove in for a car. You damn sure can't let them go talk to someone or ask them, and they won't go to someone who's sitting down waiting on their car. And that's and that's the hottest lead in the store. The, the hottest lead in the store. Number one, the highest gross in deals. Mm -hmm. Number one, the customer that you- Best trades. Best trades. They already know you have a good car. Number two, you service the vehicle, so you already know what it's like. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've created a bulletproof script. We're able to con convert 20% of your ROs per day. Mm. Okay, dealer, you have 100 ROs a day, customer pay and warranty. 100 ROs per day could be 20 appointments of someone interested in wanting to buy a vehicle. But here's the deal. We realized something. We got the customers 90% of the way there. So we get the customer, Andy, from this defensive position, sitting down, drinking their coffee, hoping no one talks to them. Well, we've made that phone call, talked about the CSI on the phone call. How are you? How are you do hey, Andy, how are you doing today? Hope we're giving you a world-class experience here at the dealership. Hey, I don't know if you know, but used cars at a really high demand. How long have you owned that vehicle for? Now we're giving an experience to the customer that's mm -hmm. sitting there, mm -hmm. giving them the right information. Hey, let's go get the value of the vehicle. Let's see what this, let's see what equity create, you have in your- Create interest. Create interest, create urgency for the customer. Mm -hmm. Hey, after we do all this and we create the lead for you, we stay on the phone with the customer, Andy. We ain't going nowhere. We, we're going to stay on the phone until the dealership 
your guys back at home communicate with the customer. Wow. So we're going to send a text message. Hey, if the customer is interested in a new vehicle, if they're interested in a used vehicle, how, you know, if they have a special financing, et cetera, et cetera, we're going to get all the information on the phone and we're going to serve the opportunity to you. So you give them a layup. A complete layup. But here's the problem. Just because you give some a layup doesn't mean they're going to lay it in. So you taught me something really well the last time we were here. You have to give all the resources to everyone so that you can see it to completion. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is now is we train the staff mm -hmm. on how to communicate the seller lead. Mm -hmm. So when an opportunity comes in, Andy, the, the lead comes over. I'm coming up from service. Hey, someone said on the phone they're ready to buy my car. You got to learn to take the lead. Hey, this is Jason, the VIP manager, the one they were talking to you about. Hey, Andy, I want to do one of two things for you today. One, I want to make you a really aggressive cash offer to buy that vehicle back from you. Mm -hmm. Or two, I want to give you a hell of a lot more for a trade. Which one of those two options were you interested in? Mm -hmm. So we go ahead and train the staff on a Zoom call. And then they start call. saying, it depends on how much you're going to give me. And guess what? What is that? A buying question. Of course. But here's, here's the deal. They get scared. So what we've done is we've made scripts for dealers, giving you guys the opportunity to train your agents but not only that, we're going to give you everything you need to be successful. So not only are we a BDC that trains the internet sales department mm -hmm. and give you guys all the traffic you really deserve, but we're now going to go back into that service department that's been barren, Dude, and we're going to drive more traffic than you ever had before. You know how many used car managers, new car managers, well, general managers and owners, you know how bad they want those service drive trade-ins? <laughs> you know how bad they want them? I know how bad. If you're watching this... You're thinking, dude, if I could take in a service drive trade in a day, if I can add an additional trade a day, an additional trade, you know what those, you know what those cars bring. You know, you know the grosses on those deals. You know how fast they sell. Okay. Number one, that's an additional sell. And number two, now Absolutely. you have a trade that's an additional sell. So if you could take one in a day and you're open 25 days and you're going to sell a different additional car to each one of them, that's 50 cars a month swing. And by the way, you don't have to go buy 50 cars at the auction. You only need to buy, or you only need to have 25 because Correct. each one of them are going to trade one. 100%. Dude, dude, this is priceless. Listen, everybody understand this, okay? I, I don't back anybody on, on, on getting into a company. I, I take my training very serious. I appreciate Jason so much with Worldwide BDC. I literally added him because he does <laughs> such a good job right, right. inside of my training portal that my 10,000 companies have, I added him in there so that he could teach for free the internet and BDC training just to teach people, okay? Like you have to understand this, but the problem is is that a lot of the times we've learned that even if you teach someone, it doesn't mean they're gonna do it. Correct. And that's where, it's you know. It's the unfortunate part. Yeah, but, but the fortunate part is that you built a business that helps people get what they want. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, it's not a cost to pay you if I end up, if I, if I, I'm just giving an example. If I spend a thousand and you give me back 50,000, like I take that bet every time. If I can spend a thousand, I get 50 extra turn. I'm going to do that. No matter what somebody spends with you, the return is so massive. They're going to take that bet every time. And just listening to this conversation right now, like you guys take this bet every freaking time. And so that's the reason why you put a no money three day guarantee that we will blow your freaking mind away for free. Let's even no let's, one does that. Let's even spice it up. We can even spice it up. If if you do call in, when you call in and you see what we're gonna do, I can guarantee if your service drive has over sixty five customer pain warranties that come in, we'll sell five cars in the three days. Easy. I'll just sell the five cars in the three days. If you allow us to set up a process that's only gonna benefit you, that you're only gonna grow from, and in return we're gonna train your salespeople to mm -hmm. interact with a lead it's priceless. It's priceless. Priceless. And we didn't even talk about the internet yet. So we're driving so much traffic, so much more intensity, so much more excitement to the customers. Not only is it because, and here's another deal, Andy, I'm sure you know this because we talk to the customers. By the time you call into these BDCs or call into these dealerships, by the end of the phone call, even if it was good, you didn't even get excited. Mm -hmm. You didn't even feel juiced up. Mm -hmm. You didn't feel like the car was going to be gash washed up and sanitized, brought to the front so it's quick, fast, and easy. Mm -hmm. No, you're like, oh, this experience might be okay. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. well, what happens when someone on the other end of the phone is giving you the world-class experience and the best mm -hmm. customer service you've ever felt in your life? Yeah. And then when you walk into the dealership. I love what you said. He says felt. Okay, remember this. People don't always remember what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. 100%. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, we're in an era right now where there's not much energy, emotion, love, or passion on phone calls anymore. 
And I know one thing with your phone, uh, I mean, with his company, notice how he said in the beginning, chance. He's like, does your team do chance? Does your team do this? What he means is have sales meetings every morning. Come on. And his entire team is yelling in the air the standards, the sales creed. We're going to win today. No one can beat us. We're going to freaking outvalue all of our competition. We're going to give everything we have. Like, like I just, I know you guys know what that feels like, and I'm sure that it's probably been a while since you've had that. They do it daily. Yeah. And so these guys are ready to take your calls. These guys are ready to make the calls. These guys are ready to do the work. And so that's why once you once you just let them do it for three days, you're going to say, oh, my God. And you're going to say, Jason Miller is my new best friend. Absolutely. I think one of the bigger topics, too, that we see right now, Andy, is that um, missed appointments, confirmations. Huge. Like just because you set an appointment doesn't make it an appointment. Mm. Let me just get that out there. I already know that every person, when you said that, every dealer right now just slapped themselves in the face. Confused. Well, I set the appointment. You set it. But you forget it. An appointment's not an appointment unless it's confirmed. Mm -hmm. And what happens is now that we've learned that dealers just want to set the appointments, which is not a bad thing. We do the right things. What at the end of the day is we just forget the follow through. We just don't follow through with what's at the end. So we created so many different processes, Andy, and uh, to to generate more opportunity for the cut or more opportunity for the dealer. Yeah, and to make sure people show up. But that that's the whole goal. Like, what's yeah. the point of an appointment? Who yeah. cares if yeah. you have thirty appointments? If but people don't, come in. if people don't show up, it's nothing. But dealers know this story. I mean, that's why I want to tell you guys. That's why this podcast. That's why this training is so important. Because honestly, like everybody's one relationship away from changing their whole company. They're one resource away from changing Absolutely. their whole company. Um, you know, I remember when I was younger. Um, I was a used car manager and I was going to the auction, trying to buy cars and do all this. And my buddy introduced me to a guy who said he's really good at buying cars. And I remember thinking, no, I don't need anybody. You know, I'm good. I know how to buy cars. I know how to do this. Right. But I was like, man, if somebody else could help me buy cars, even if it was just an extra car a day, that was 25 cars at five grand a copy. It's 125,000. You know, I was like, okay, cool. L let me check. Normally I would have been closed minded to it. And the point of this is that be open minded. You don't know what you don't know. That's good. I hired this guy. He ended up buying me three cars a day. He brought about 75 cars a month to the table and he brought an additional 500 grand to the bottom line a month. Mm. I'm going to tell you this. My friend introducing me to this guy was a half a million dollar swing in my company. Wow. Um, I just want to tell everybody right now, me introducing you to Jason Miller right now with Worldwide BDC is a half a million dollar swing. Okay. So like, just, just test me. And that's why I asked Jason, hey, would you, do, would you be willing for my audience to do three days for free? Like seriously, like I know you got to pay your guys. Do a kick-ass job, show them what you can do, and prove up front. Remember the days whenever people would just try to close deals and then on the other side of the payment, right, then they'll go to work? Right. And you don't really know until after you pay? Well, you're going to give them three days for free. Yeah. And then if they love the results, then you guys can have a conversation. I love this, man. I'm telling you right now, man. In this era that we live in, people don't operate this way, but this is this is Elliott Group style stuff. This is Jason Miller type stuff. We are straight winners, and this is a bulletproof program. And what he said about the service drives, he said, how many ROs do you have? Think about this. He said, if you have 65 or more ROs coming into your service drive a day, which most of you have 50 plus, okay? Even Easy. in a small store, yeah. Yeah. He said, we'll sell, we'll do all the internet stuff. We'll kill that. We'll crush that. We'll do that thing. We'll, we'll smash it. But also I'm going to generate what you would never see in your life. I'm going to gener generate an additional five deals out of the service drive. Absolutely. Well, forget about all the other stuff. If it's five grand a copy on five deals, you got five new trades. You're going to sell five cars. And guess what? That's an additional $25,000. In gross profit plus the cars you're going to sell which would mm -hmm. be three to five thousand that's a forty to fifty thousand dollar swing it's free yeah. it's free dude people don't do this anymore and that's why i'm so happy to introduce all of you to jason this is your opportunity man and look dude i want to tell you something dude every company that i have i've never had a company cancel on them just so we're aware i've never had a company cancel on them i'm, I'm dying to see someone cancel it's calling getting bit calling call getting bit by the bug like, like when I went to the gym, I felt so amazing. I was like, I'm always going to go now. Like I have to go. Um, once you show them a different level of phone skills, of passion, of energy, of effort, absolutely. Um, knowing that the phone calls are actually getting made, 
It makes I mean, the hell, it, that's the difference. Listen, dude, I walk in on Salesforce all the time, and I don't care what they say. Oh, yeah, what, what is our standard? We got to call X amount of calls. They're not calling. They're not calling. You listen to your people's calls. 100%. You listen to every call all the time. And you guys can also plug in and listen to their calls. Yeah. Dude, no. listen to that. Full accountability results through the roof and winning. 100%. And I think you. I think that was great. The transparency is a big deal for dealerships and for everyone. Mm-hmm. When you're using a third-party company, and you got to think about it, BDC probably could, depends if a destination store or not, it could be either 50% of your traffic or 90% of your mm-hmm. traffic. So the BDC could be an important part. But what happens is, is that even though a BDC could have you know, six agents in there, uh, but out of those six agents, they're driving 60% of your traffic, but you don't even know how many phone calls they make, mm-hmm. nor do you have a system to prove it, or you don't know what they're saying on the phones. What happens when you bring transparency in, where you bring the amount of phone calls someone made for your store? Now you really get to see, oh, crap, they made 500 phone calls today. Holy crap, they sent out 350 texts. 200 of them got responses. Now what happens is when clarity comes to you and you start mm-hmm. seeing what we can do for the store, mm-hmm. everything just starts changing. Yeah, and, and it's a compound too. Yeah. Like, for, listen, it's kind of like this. You got a junior high, right, football team, and then you bring in the NFL. Mm. Okay? You know immediately when the NFL comes in, there's new players in the game, and it brings a new standard to the whole company. And by the way, all these cars getting sold, these BDC, these internet people and all that, listen, dude, they can walk down and go sell every one of these cars, okay? Yeah. But if they're not doing the work and if they're not the best, guess what? They can learn from these guys by listening and see how, how it gets done and a new standard will be set in your company, okay? Or they can go down and sell. It doesn't really matter. Nobody needs to get replaced and you're not trying to replace anybody. No. You're just trying to build dealerships Absolutely. to be the empires that they're supposed to yeah, be. I think that's a good touch point as well, Andy. It, we are not here to take a job. Mm-hmm. We're just here to do it better. Mm-hmm. And when we do that... We're here to do it at the uh, expectation. At, at the expectation that yeah. you think you should be getting it. Yeah. At. But then we show you through transparency. But the good thing is, because of the Elliott Group and what we've built together, uh, we have we actually had a store last month that we shouted out for. They did the number one. I don't know if we're allowed to say it on, on the sure, air, but... It. Uh, the Benton Baker Group, man, mm-hmm. we did an amazing job where they thanked us both because they had an amazing job. We did. You're on the plat. They're on your platform. Mm-hmm. They're with the uh, the Elite Exchange Program, the BDC, and we just crush it. We're given, you know, a store that went from I don't know the bottom tier store to the number one store. Yep. Like, are we are we getting this right now? Yeah, I want you to hear what it's he said. It's intense. Yeah, and and by the way, Chris Baker, the owner, right? Yeah. He's a badass. Okay, one of the one of the bottom stores raised to the top. How? Well, it's really simple. They're training. They're doing the work. They're getting better every day. Jason's helping them with the phone calls. Absolutely. It's like they're just winning. Like, I always say this to people. I'm like, you know we're in the era where, like, it's cool to have a coach, right? You know we're in the, we're in the era where, like, it's cool to self-develop, right? Like, 20 years right. ago, it wasn't cool. People be like, you have a coach. What, what, what sport do you play? Right. You know, it's like, no, you have a coach. Oh, you self-develop. Oh, you're being pushed. Oh, right. you have somebody that helps you with your mindset and creating big goals and stretching yourself and going to another level. Like, that's cool now. Right. Okay? The people that are developing, right, and working hard are dominating the space. Okay? It's not just hard work anymore. You also got to be great. And when he said at the beginning of the call, he goes, dude, we're just really good at taking phone calls. Like, it's all we do. We don't want to sell the car. We don't want to do any of that. We know how to do it, but we want to take the calls. It's all we want to do. And your company, I bet everybody wants to sell cars all day long, but they don't want to take, they don't want to make the calls. Yeah. So what you do is that you let your team do what they love to do, and you let him take the, take the stuff that they don't want to do, and you sell, you double or triple your sales. Absolutely. And for the and for the people out there that ha- that they have a BDC and the, your your dealership, you have a BDC, you already have everything working. The only thing we're gonna do is just amplify it. Right. We're going to come in and we're going to coach the BDC. Mm-hmm. We're going to tell them, hey, listen, here's what we have as a standard. Can you reach the standard of which we have? Mm-hmm. This is how we call, text, confirm the appointments. This is how we run after the miss. So it's all like a good development process. Yeah, you can sick us on like a back, pack, pack of dogs. And yeah, we're going to get it 100 yeah. percent. But after the three day free trial, then we start building process and then you start seeing consistency. Then you start seeing your sold numbers go up. Then your gross profit goes up because your service department is now selling more new cars. Like every Nissan store right now, if you're watching this, should be on this program, service to sales. 
it's impossible to sell Nissans right now. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? Nissans yeah. are struggling. And, and also, I'm going to say something else, too, why this is a time that's super important for a lot of people, is that we went through an era where inventory was a shortage. Yeah. So nobody had any inventory. Yeah. Now we're in an era where everybody's lots are full and they got plenty of inventory. Okay? What do you think happens all that interest stacks up? Mm. What do you think happens when the, the books keep dropping and these cars we owe a lot of money on them? Dude, if you don't flood your showroom floor with traffic, that's a death trap. Okay? The number one thing that you could do is to make sure that you have people on your showroom floor 25-7, 365. The, the best thing that you could do is to make sure that you keep flooding those freaking service drive trades to your salespeople mm. so they can keep calling their customers saying, you can't believe what we got into today. And then also it gives them new deals. Like, dude, you got to feed your store. You got to feed the morale of your company. You got to feed. Once these guys, everybody in the store feels what's about to happen. And once it starts happening, everybody's like, man, I love this new system. We're all making more money. We're all being able to sell more. And next thing you know, man, it's like Chris Baker's store. Like, you go from the bottom to the top or you go from being at the top to now, you're just dissolving your competition and you're crushing them. Like now you're in a whole different category and they, they don't even put you as number one. It's like because you just demolish everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I love that, man. Yeah, and man. that's that's what we want to do. We want to partner with the people that are serious about going to the next level. And that's why we're giving everybody a free three-day trial with Jason. Okay? All you have to do, guys, go down to the link. It's in the description box. It's at the bottom. Click on it. Fill out the information. Make sure your information's right. They'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Yeah. Will literally change your life. Um, what is something you want to say as we want to finish this out? Yeah, I just want to say for any dealer that's out there, then, and your BDC is struggling, right? Um, give us the opportunity to show you what we can do. The only thing that we're going to do is benefit you, give you more success, give you more traffic, and benefit you in the long run. There's another part we didn't touch on, but I'm just going to say it quick, is the service inbounds. If you've ever called your... I would recommend every dealer that's watching this, even GSM, Mm -hmm. service director, why don't you just call your service department? Just call it and see how long it takes for the customer to pick up the phone. Mm. Let's just see how long it takes for you to schedule an appointment. Mm. Don't do it because you're going to get mad. But Actually, do it. Do it. But then once you do that and it takes someone three or four minutes to pick up the phone, just remember that you heard a podcast that said that someone would pick up the phone in the first ring and you would have an appointment within a minute and 30 seconds. Not an AI, because you don't want to water down your quality, but a live person picking up your phone, creating an opportunity for your Mm. service department. And Andy, don't forget, that same customer you just set the appointment for that's coming in for a world-class experience to meet with a service director is also going to get another call from us talking about CSI, why the store is so great, so we can buy back the vehicle. So the only thing we're going to do is just create more money, more opportunity for dealers out there. Uh, But the last thing I'd say is, uh, if you're, if you want to make more money as a dealer, everybody period, does. Well, then everyone should then be calling the number in the description that's on the link. Period. Yeah, if that's, that's the case. it. Well, hey, listen, I've told you guys this forever. Okay, everybody's asleep. Okay, I wish I could tell you that everybody was hungry right now and they're all fire breathing dragons. And be be aware, you know, be beware. They're, they're they're so good. It's it's a scary time to be alive. The competition is thriving. They're not. Okay. But because they're not, and the God of this world is comfort, and they don't want to work, this is a perfect time for you right now to kick everyone's ass. Okay? Get paid what you're worth. And I know some of you made a lot of money during COVID, okay? And you've taken taken pay cuts. Which could be the problem. Well, here's the deal. Let's go back to making that money. Okay? Now's the time. The market share's there. I'm telling you, this is three days for free. Okay? So you have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. Okay? If he's right, you guys have a conversation. If he's wrong, move on. It didn't cost you anything anyways. And by the way, I would never ruin my brand or ruin my name by telling you to do something. That wasn't amazing. Okay? So I love you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, Jason. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate you. No, well, listen, man. We're together all the time. Um, You know, he flies out here about once a month. We spend time together. We train his team all the time. And uh, his team cares, man. I mean, they just care so much, man. I mean, I've never... I wish you could just see. I know you'll see when you reach out to him. He'll send you videos of, of his team. He'll, he'll FaceTime me in the office Absolutely. and let you look around. And you're going to be like, my God. Wow. Yeah, I definitely need some of that. 
And that's it, man. And all we want to do is just bring massive value to you. And we know how hard you work. We know that when you kiss your kids, your wife, your family goodbye in the morning, you go to work, you want to be a winner, you want to kick ass. We know that nobody wants to take, take a pay cut. We know it's time for us right now to get paid. Okay? And take good care of customers and do the right thing. All those things. But also be winners. Okay? So I appreciate you, Jason. Thank you, man. No and uh, guys, we'll see you in the next podcast. Make sure you go down to the description box. Okay? Click the link. Okay? We'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. We'll get you set up. And then super important, if you're a sales guy, okay, send this to your general manager. Send this to your manager. You want to sell more cars? Share the video. Guys, have a blessed day. See you next time. Yes, I'm get it how I wanna get it. You don't get it. I can do anything. I don't got a limit. I'm gonna make my Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. I got lessons, all lessons to give them. Think the masters open the wishing, the thinking, the driven, and cutting the ribbons off.